everyone. My name is Karen. Thanks for joining me for some science you can do with leftovers from your kitchen. So for this experiment, what we're going to do is we're going to learn about how plants can regrow from refuse, things you would normally throw away. So some fun things that you're going to try to root and grow again are celery. So when you're preparing your celery that you bring home from the grocery store, cut off the bottom end because that's not the part you want to eat anyway. Make sure if you're trying to do this experiment that you do have celery that has kind of this brown part at the bottom. That's where we're going to see roots grow and you're gonna get little celeries that are growing from the center. The other thing that you could try to regrow is the bottom of romaine lettuce. So again, this is the part that you don't eat. You just chop it off. I've left about two inches of uh, the romaine lettuce part. And this has only been a few days. It's already starting to grow. Very, very exciting. The other thing you could try are the tops of carrots. Now, if you're going to do this experiment, make sure you buy the entire carrot, not those little bags of snap carrots. Those won't regrow. You have to have the kind that have the little brown top on it. So once you get these cut off, this is only about an inch is all we need. You're going to put them in a tray or a shallow dish of some sort. I just used a meat tray that I had recycled from home. And I'm going to lay them all out in here and pour some water in so that it covers the uh, carrots about halfway full and put it in a sunny window, wait a few weeks, or in this case of the romaine lettuce, even just a few days, and watch the miracle of growth occur in your kitchen. So another thing you could do is to root your very own avocado tree. I know, weird, right? So once you've eaten the avocado and you've got the pit remaining, don't throw it away. Stick three little toothpicks inside at kind of equidistant points and that's uh, to suspend it in a glass of water. So it doesn't have to be this big. This is the only clear glass that I had, but you could do a shallow glass and just make sure again that the water comes up about halfway uh, up the side of the avocado pit. Now these I dug up from my compost pile, but it does take a few weeks. You'll see roots that grow into the water and a nice little green sprout that's going to come out the top. Once you've got some good roots and a nice green sprout, you can plant it in some uh, soil in a pot, put it out in a sunny location, and woo, pretty soon you're gonna have a really big tree. I kept my avocado tree for several years. It never did produce avocados, but it was really fun to think that it was just a sprout that I grew in my garden. All right, now this is my favorite one. This is the sweet potato slips. Did you know that sweet potatoes don't grow from the root itself? You actually have to produce something called slips. So in this case, you're going to go to the store, buy a, a sweet potato, and again, using uh, I used four toothpicks this time because uh, this is pretty big and pretty heavy, right? And I suspend it again in the uh, cup of water. Now, important information here is you wanna make sure that the big fat part of the sweet potato is in the water and the narrow part is up in the top. And you're gonna put this in a sunny window and within weeks, you're going to have beautiful little green sprouts that are come up wherever you have these little dimples. Now, I named this guy Bubba because I think he has a lot of personality. So go ahead and name your sweet potato. He becomes your friend. So once those sprouts get to be about, oh, I don't know, six inches tall, this sounds weird, but this is how you do it. You're going to actually carefully snap them off of the potato. I know it's scary, but trust me on this one, right? So snap off each one of those little sprouts and then put them in water and watch the roots grow. When those roots get to be, oh, I don't know, three or four inches long and the weather is nice and warm, you are ready to plant your sweet potatoes outside in the garden. Don't have a garden? No worries. You can put it in a pot with, uh, you only need about, what is that, 14 to 18 inches of soil. Remember, the sweet potatoes are going to be growing in the soil and you're gonna have all these beautiful lush vines. It's going to be a beautiful plant. They're not uh, harmed by any insects. It's a great plant to grow. And at the end of the summertime, before the first frost, you dig down in the soil and voila, you've made your very own sweet potatoes. Well, I hope you had some fun today uh, learning about how you can grow your own vegetables 
from nothing but waste.